Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to take a closer look at the permeability of free space. Remember, the permeability of free space is what affects the magnetic field oscillations in space and what affects the speed at which electromagnetic radiation can travel through space. Mu sub naught is used for permeability of free space, and the way we're going to try and figure out the units and the magnitude of that is to use the relationship that we have here for the magnitude, and we're going to use these two equations here for the units of the permeability of free space. So this equation here describes the force, a charge that moves through a magnetic field fields. It is equal to QVB. Q is the charge, V is the velocity of the charge, and B is the strength of the magnetic field. Here we have an equation that describes the magnetic field strength caused by a moving charge, the charge with charge Q moving at velocity V and some point at distance R at an angle theta away from the direction of the velocity, we can calculate the magnetic field strength at that location using this equation. So, what we're going to do here first is solve this equation for B. So B is equal to the force divided by Q times V. The force, the units for force is equal to Newtons. The units for charge is equal to Coulombs. And the units for velocity is equal to meters per second. And then coulombs per second is a unit for uh, moving charges, which is current. So a coulomb per second is amps. So this would be equal to newtons divided by amp times meter. So that would be the unit of the magnetic field strength. And that is then given the unit of teslas. So this is equal to T. T stands for tesla. All right. And that's the unit for magnetic field. Now, let's go ahead and solve that equation for mu sub naught. So, mu sub naught is equal to 4 pi times the magnetic field strength divided by QV times the sine of theta divided by R squared. Now, let's plug in the units that we know these are equal to. So, we can see that this is equal to Tesla's in the numerator divided by the units for charge is coulombs, the units, for, the units for velocity is meters per second, and then we have 1 over meters squared in the denominator, which moves to the numerator, would be meters squared in the, in the numerator. And then we can also see that coulombs per second is amps, so this would be teslas, meters squared per amp times meters, and then we can cancel out the meters, and we can see that the units there is equal to teslas, meters divided by amps. And that would be the units for mu sub naught. Let me put brackets around it. The brackets here signify that these are the units. And let me put an arrow there because we know that the units are not equal to the equation. So those are the units for mu sub naught. Tesla's meter per amps. Now we need to find the value for that. So how do we find the value? Well, let's use this equation right here. So we can write that since C is equal to 1 divided by the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught, if we square both sides, we get c square is equal to 1 over epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught. Solving that for mu sub naught, we get mu sub naught is equal to 1 over, uh, let's see here, let's go c square times epsilon sub naught, and of course, epsilon sub naught can be written as 1 over 4 pi k. So this can be written as 4 pi k divided by c squared. All right, so now what we can do is put in the values for k and c. So this is equal to 4 pi times k. The value for k would be, uh, that would be 9 times 10 to the 9th. And the value for c squared is 9 times 10 to the 16th. And of course, the units are teslas meters per amp. And finally, when we simplify that, you can see that mu sub naught can be written as 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, and units are teslas meters per amp. And there we go. That's how we determined the units and the magnitude for mu sub naught, which is called the permeability of free space. So now we can see that the two constants that really describe the properties of space that control how fast electromagnetic radiation can move through space. It's controlled by the permittivity and the permeability of free space, and those are the units and the values of those two constants. And now we know a little bit more about electromagnetic radiation.